they actually did uh, have a little bit of a crossover with uh, Walking Dead. They actually had the Challenger that I drove, and they had some blue meth. So you, you never really know what started the zombie apocalypse. Maybe this crystal. Hey guys, I'm RJ Mitty. Fire asked me to explain stuff about my life and my career. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, no, I um because of Breaking Bad, uh, a big breakfast phenomenon happened. Most of the scenes you see me in Breaking Bad, I'm eating breakfast. I'm at the breakfast table. So it really just kind of kept piling on this breakfast themed life of mine. Uh, I'm not the biggest breakfast guy, but uh but I will be for the show, so Yeah. So why not? You know, a little, a little drug kingpin action. I think with how the show ended, the whole Walter Jr. wanting to be like his father, I think got diminished, where he really just lost a lot of respect for him. For the most part, Walt Jr. still has his moral compass and really looked up to his Uncle Hank. Never know, he could be a drug kingpin or a DEA hero, so we'll have to see. They actually did uh, have a little bit of a crossover with uh, Walking Dead. And you know, we're all part of the same family. We're all part of that AMC hub, you know? But in The Walking Dead, they actually had the Challenger that I drove in Breaking Bad, and they actually had some blue meth. So you, you never really know what started the zombie apocalypse. Maybe this crystal. <laughs> I love that scene so much. That was such a good scene and such a unique scene for the show because it was a really big divide when Walt Jr. took the stand with his mom versus his dad in that moment. I, I really enjoyed that whole scene. And when we were doing that scene, I kind of like flipped Brian, right? And the first time I did it, I accidentally flipped him legitimately and, uh, and wasn't supposed to do that. What the hell is wrong with you? I, I thought that was a great moment for the family, the Walter White family, to have that moment of picking a side within the family because it hadn't been done yet. He wrote such a well-written character that it really wasn't challenging to, to find his vision. You know, sometimes you'll get a job and uh, the job will like, you'll be like, I don't know what to do. But when you have the right job, you know where all the pieces fit. You know where everything needs to go. And, that was Breaking Bad. It, yes, we had challenging scenes, and yes, there were some, some emotional scenes. It was easy because we could see the vision. So Vince really made it uh, fairly easy for us. We just had to be those characters in those moments. Uh, Terrence is a funny man. I only worked with him for a few days, but he was a hoot and a character. I really enjoyed his company as an individual. It's a real serious sport. There you go, you got it! So I, when I was younger, I was really big into martial arts, karate, jujitsu, but um, hadn't grappled, hadn't wrestled really. Getting into the role was, was a lot of fun for me because I had a trainer to, to teach me the moves and exercised so much but i really enjoyed uh learning greco style wrestling it's very challenging when it comes to its physicality its muscle its its drive but i loved it i had a great time you know i think there's a lot of i think right now is a good time for movies that have good messaging and uh and you know this is a movie about a young man with cerebral palsy who wants to achieve a goal and everyone around him is telling him he can't achieve those goals and goes out and tries to conquer his, his battle, and conquer his demons and face the bullies and do the things that he wants to do in his life. And that's something that I think more people need to have that message on is, is don't let other people's limitations uh, be placed upon you. Find your limitations, find your growth, put yourself out there and make the best of your life because no one else can. Guys, that was it. Uh, I hope I answered your questions. I hope you enjoyed my answers. And uh, thank you all so much for your support. And I hope you all enjoy the movie. And uh, keep an eye out. See you all later.